Greetings ladies and gentlemen, Gaming Token here. Welcome in episode 4 of Europa University's Let's Play series as Florence with the goal of recreating the Roman Empire. Now in the last episode we have had a war with Corsica, Mantua and now non-existent Ragusa. We have taken Dubrovnik. Let's rename this to its uh, current name. Okay, we have retake we have retaken Dubrovnik from Draguzins and used it as a staging point for an invasion into the Balkans. We have taken over Bosnia as a vassal and some Serbian provinces. Now we have started to call them in the last episode, but after some consideration we will give it to the Bosnians, uh, mainly because, as you can now see, the Bosnians have an increased tolerance of heretics and religious unity from the traditions. So, Orthodox provinces won't be that much of a problem for them. As you can see, they are heretics to us. The unrest is rather big due to religious issues. issues. And we are prepared to invade Tunis anyway, so we don't really have the time nor the manpower spared in order to stay here and guard these provinces. So, Bosnia's lucky day, we are going to give them some clay. First and foremost, uh, Zeta. Afterwards, it's going to be Kosovo, particularly nice gift as it has gold mine, and Raska. Our overextension is now 20% with... How come? Okay, it's non-existent. Doesn't hasn't updated. Our troops are going to move to Cagliari on Sardinia as we are staging an invasion against the Tunisians. Actually, to do that, we are going to ask the Portuguese for military access in order to have an easier time attacking. Or we can just build to transport ships. Either way, this is going to work. Hopefully. So our f tiny fleet is going to send in troops. Uh, the control of uh, Dubrovnik has given us some sway in this trade now, though not that much due to... Well, overextension is going to be deleted, but still a problem. Anyway, uh, more trade towards genuine trade node. Always good. So now uh, Bosnians are a little bigger. Not a problem really. We are benefiting from that greatly and I think this... Well, I think of course I do because I've done it. A reasonable decision served our purpose rather well. Now, land for the clergy. Giving more provinces to the clergy is not really in our best interest right now. So we are just going to... Oh, we have been devastated, oh yeah, by the passing of Serbian troops. Well, we're not going to invest in those provinces, not in the slightest. Just, uh, well, perhaps in this nobility and let them be. So, okay, moving to Tunis now, let's see enemy force. Tunis has 6,000 troops. Their allies... Togorod have 7,000 troops. They are tech 5, Tunis is 6, so we are even. Not an easy fight, actually, ahead of us. What is our manpower reserve? 7, 18,000, so we are definitely getting some more troops where the time allows. So after we stabilize our situation, move our troops to the new home at Cagliari, get those additional transport ships, we are going to invade Tunisia. A little bit of a wait time as we wait for those ships, actually 867% down, so okay. Soon enough these people should leave coalition against us. But just for the sake of efficiency, let's start working on spike network against the Tunisians. 
We're certainly giving the command to Corsini. He's more capable as a shock fighter. We're going to land in enemy capital, I guess. And start working on the center of trade. The other target could be Tripoli. And come to think of it, we do want to get engaged in a conflict with the Mamluks for the control of Egypt and mainly Alexandria. So, need to think about it still. Tunisian and Northern African expansion in general will be rather difficult. We don't actually need a merchant there anymore, I think. The more beneficial will be... Ah, never mind. It is increasing our profit. And we have the soil burger, so let's keep the man for the time being. It is useful. So yeah, okay, ships added to the fleet, we can start the invasion. Let's go! Declare war, good. What about this country, does it have, oh they are at war. Bless them, against the Portuguese, even better. So, couldn't have more perfect times to assault, we just have to wait for the spy network to actually make a claim on their capital which we are going to assault. Now we have tech advantage, we can build artillery. And one cannon is actually quite useful. Do they have the hostile core creation? Yeah, the coring of Tunisia is expensive as you can see. Hellishly expensive and uh, that's not exactly good. We'd rather have a vassal here. Perhaps uh, Togoro could become our vassal, but then we need to drop uh, another country in the mainland. Now we're going to give some... I can't do this again because goddamn burgers still have increased influence. Now this decision is haunting me endlessly. Sassari. Uh, I wonder if we are ever going to get uh, burgers loyal again. Now we could increase tax or increase fish production. And frankly at this point, uh, well burgers, I don't really care about you that much. Now this is on the edge of knife. We have a lot of very powerful estates. And we can't get the Cardinal Minister, unfortunately, because it would push us over the edge. Though they are going to lose it in a few months' time, so let's wait. And then we shall go to take the Cardinal Minister as additional tolerance, papal influence, and stability cost are nothing to scoff at. So let's just wait and allow this to pass on its own. Okay, we can start the invasion of Tunis, I suppose. Uh, this province actually is far more interesting to us than Tunis itself, because it borders the Mamluks. And with the war with the Mamluks we could assault Alexandria. But we'll see how the conflict actually goes. Now we can uh, declare war, which we are soundly going to do. Get to God, God, I suppose, as a co-belligerent. Start the conflict and land on the beach. And we can get the minister. And as soon as we get our troops, it's going to be much far safer. Sucks. Low admin skill is a problem. We are going to change that in the future. Of course, it's not his strong suit, but he's just begun his career. Give the man some time. Okay, this is fair enough. Zero is good enough of an income for us. Let's give those troops command of Mr. Orsini and then move to the enemy capital. 
while we pillage and plunder. If we take Kef in a reasonable amount of time, the enemy will be completely crushed. Oh. How did Morocco get involved? Oh yes, the, the Tunisians were already in a war, so we are fighting a very difficult conflict. The enemy has big numbers on his side and we need to be rather clever about ourselves. We don't want to lose these troops. So the fortress of Jerba is actually quite... Oh, excuse me, let's move to the Gulf of Gabas. Fortress of Jerba is very attractive. Let's keep Mr. Antonio Botta Odorno. Get some free diplo points and a much more competent man at the head of the state. A welcome change, I suppose. Now, our first and only for quite a while cannon. A horrible war for France, I suppose they are going to lose it. Not good for us, unfortunately. Now, we could get adaptive combat terrain. Hills? Are there any hills? No, not really. Excuse me, why we have no... S okay, simple terrain. Hills, no hills in Tunisia. Highlands only. So, not worth the splendor. Certainly not this. Uh, cavalry armies, not really. We don't have the money for that. The Euro law will be nice in Tunisia. I suppose improve war taxes for some income because because yeah so uh, I think we are just going to use the Tunisians as a staging ground and the troops are coming 21,000 of them mostly mercenaries I imagine indeed 10 mercenary units 15,000 troops Morocco is busy. Oh, it's... Ah, uh, well. Ah, yeah, well, they are in war against us now. Not a good sign. We need to retreat. The enemy doesn't have competent commanders as we do. So we need to retreat to the beachhead and hope that we can hold the ground. Okay, this is bad. Our war with Tunisia might have unforeseen consequences. We need to send this artillery piece to the siege immediately. As you can see, it, have, it has a tremendous effect on what is happening in the siege. Okay, if we manage to take the capital, we might dictate turns. Uh, right now, we are on defensive. Good. How is their opinion? No, they don't want to leave the war. Let's see if we can get what we want. No, we can't. Not long enough of a conflict. Okay, the, Venice ha the Venetians have led the coalition, so the coalition is going to fall. This is most welcome as a news. Now, some development in those church provinces might be worthwhile. Even though we are behind an admin tech, we want to keep the clergy loyal. Okay, we are keeping it rather steady and at a reasonable pace. The enemy is not interested in attacking us right now. Oh, never. It was nice knowing you. So our enemy is busy battling elsewhere and this was a prime and opportune moment for an attack. Now we'll see how the Portuguese are going to take the enemy on the western flank while we continue to march at the heartland. So the coalition is over, excellent. 
I mean, yeah, this is a perfect scenario. We don't really want to go into a battle with anyone. It would be. Let's just wait here for a moment so that the garrison is built. Okay, 340 garrison is not really enough. And good, we are continuing to siege enemy provinces on the coast. A little bit of carpet sieging hasn't hurt anyone yet, I suppose. Though so we're going to have a battle and there's nothing we can do about it. Okay, this is a problem. We could lose, we could increase tech cost and get the support of the clergy for our missionaries, which missionaries, which isn't too good, but I think that's unlikely we'd rather invest in tech itself. Good, so the enemy has decided to retreat and take back some of the land that we have decided to take. We will reunite our forces and go for the desert. Now, I suppose the Portuguese are rather busy in that part of the territory. Probably a battle is waging, raging there as we speak. Improved maneuver will be nice, additional tech cost reduction and increased land leader man maneuver for reducing attrition damage is definitely nice. I mean, we've lost 2700 troops in this war already. A little too much for my taste. Now let's siege Togo because this is really the target we want. We want to take enemies. Interesting, Naples under attack by the Pope. And Naples is at war with France as well. Well, the Pope has quite the sway against our enemies. And now this is horrible. We have allowed a little too fast of a game pace, I suppose. Can we fight 30,000 angry Tunisians and Moroccans? I don't think so. We have the forts, so these troops are going to take casualties. So we are going to retreat to Tunis. And see what happens from there. Excuse me, we're supposed to protect trade in Genoa. Now, this is going to be a lost cause of a battle. Oh, my mistake. Never mind, sometimes you get a little overly excited. Uh, as we can see, both battles are not exactly even. The Moroccans are losing heavily. And while the Tunisians have more troops, their morale and tactics are still inferior. Though this, troop, this proportion will certainly leave us defeated. That's an awesome role, and uh, Mr. Orsini is commanding this troop, as unfortunate as that might be. But the enemy has no morale, so we can cause them casualties with impunity. And is it worth continuing is the question. I don't think so. We'd rather retreat, lose one battle, win one battle, get some military tradition, which is always useful, cause an equal amount of casualties. That's a lot of manpower used. 17 ships, Savoy. Well, we'll, we'll choose Savoy and improve our relations with those people. Now, this has been a costly battle. The Tunisians have lost a lot of mercenaries, which will cost them nothing else but gold, and gold they have. They will default if, have, if necessary, but they will continue the combat. Uh, not the most fortunate circumstance. Pity that uh, Mr. Corsini couldn't command the battle. But oh well, we have time to spend. We can equally well move our troops to other provinces into highlands 
which are very good for us. Now, the Portuguese are continuing the good fight. Let's see what the army actually is. Portugal is here. They have 17,000 troops in the field. So I believe they are somewhere here exactly at the siege and this siege is going rather well this is a good sign I suppose the enemy will have to move their troops to the western flank and thus will be able to retake those positions that the enemy has gained we'll move to Kabylia and con and god damn it we're going to have a fight in the highlands on the second on the sixth well at least we are not crossing a river not the most fortunate development and we are losing a lot of troops due to an amazing shock call by Mr. Nabeur though the arrival of uh, Corsini should change the situation as we can see the enemy is starting to take far more casualties our morale is superior and this should be an easy victory even if well not easy that is an overstatement a costly victory unfortunately yes we have lost less troops than the enemy but we need our men a little more than they need theirs we have no manpower left we could use this as a last resort, but we still can simply wait a little bit. Let's wait one day and wait until these troops are locked with their movement order. Then we can strike them and cause severe damage. I mean, this is a free 1000 men killed difficult not to respect such a number good so a kill of thousand at the price of 80 is a good calculation now uh, the Portuguese have taken the enemy fort so the enemy will most likely move the offensive against us they can move freely through the desert so that is a problem It's all a matter of patience now. The Tunisians have high well, war exhaustion. It would be nice for the Portuguese to attack the Moroccans instead of us. As the brunt of the offensive is actually being quite punishing. We can retreat here to safety. And move towards south to Tatooine and Gafsa. Yes, this is the Tatooine used by George Lucas as an inspiration to Star Wars names, as the urban legend says. So we are controlling the south of the country. Okay. So yeah, this is looking rather well. Excellent. Uh, nobility is no longer threatening to make a coup in the state. Those 2,000 manpower are pretty darn nice to get. We don't really get a lot of manpower right now, so we need to conserve our troops really, really intensely. Let's resume the time passage. Okay, so the Pope was rather ravacious in his appetite of conquering the peninsula problem for us okay the enemy will siege now the fort they will start suffering attrition damage hopefully not really interesting we'll see okay so uh, we're still a lot behind in tech so we'll need to do something about it this is too nice not to get and reformation is something we would actually promote so this is stabilizing we have our troops the enemy is currently sieging us while well, war with portugal is over so 
no wonder they are sieging us now. They have numbers. And we should think about ending this conflict while we can in relative uh, safety. Naples, Venice and Serbia, the usual. What is the state here actually? Rather rich. We could take the entire four, but no, not really an option. Uh, these are more valuable to us. Excuse me, let's see. We can't really humiliate them. Unfortunately, we can't humiliate the Tunisians. It would be great for our power projection, but still we are getting some... Oh, let's get the entire state just for the heck of it. Oh, this is going to be prohibitively expensive to call, as you can see. So we are going to take three provinces. And release a nation as a buffer, which perhaps will manage to take on our side in the future. Good, so this is well done. Unfortunately, we were foolish as we have released Tripoli and they consider some provinces to be of key importance. So not the wisest decision on our part. No excuses, frankly. A very silly decision. Who are the enemies? Savoy and Naples. Perhaps Savoyards will be of use. Now, uh, war against Naples. Easy. They are the next target on the chopping block. Let's increase the autonomy. And move our troops back to the mainland. As we'll need to conquer the, Napoleon, the Napoleons. The people from Naples, excuse me. As such, we need to take a new rival. The Papal State is a problem. Because we have all that nice juicy influence. And citing war with the Pope will reduce our influence to nothingness. A bonus would be nice. Uh, but prestige, really... What's our Diplo rank? It's 0.78. Do we really rely on diplomacy much? Not really, we are uh, rather militaristic. We have the proclamation of Holy War. Uh, ba -ba -ba. So money or prestige, at this point prestige is better, it's still morale. Let's use all the influence we have. We will have to think of uh, the Papal State as a rival. If we were to attack them... Uh, let's just make an experiment. Well, we can't check that out, so never mind. Uh, we'll have to see later. First, Tripoli. It is, after all, a trade center. So let's wait. Uh, Fuck it, let's just go. Oh, we've lost our galleys against enemy nine ships. Whoops, I suppose, should be said. Yeah, so this is going to be easy. Mr. Ossini will take this in no time, I think. And yeah, we definitely need a galley, both galleys actually, to hunt for pirates in the Genoese trade mode. And what is the fleet bat? Okay, recall, I hope I'm not drunk and we're actually going to lose this, so uh, let's retreat. Uh, no longer controlling the navies, I suppose. Okay, let's send a gift to these people. 
good enough. Mission completed. Creating a proper fleet should be our priority right now. And again at war. This time with the Nap with Naples as we want to take the land over completely. We need to start working on um, outraged countries in the meanwhile, as there's a lot of them. And Mr. Botta Adorno remains as the head of the state, obviously. And this isn't nice, I mean, oh yeah, we don't have a fleet available to protect them. Well, I suppose that means we have to commission some galleys. Five galleys at the moment. Not good. The Ottomans are entering their super mode when they are arguably insanely strong. Okay, so Salermo is ours. That means that uh, Palermo will be ours in just a moment as well. What is this supposed to even mean? So they want autonomy, they want to offer loyalty, or they can rebel and over 20,000 troops. Salento, Cosenza, Dubrovnik, let's see, do we really need these? High autonomy, uh, high, high, no problem. This is three loyalty and these provinces are very autonomous anyway. So yeah, things are going relatively well, even the expansion is a little slower than I would prefer. Such are circumstances. So good, Naples is ours. Oh, a war with the French against the Ottomans. France, Savoy and Venice against the Ottomans, that will weaken the Savoyards considerably. Let's check the peace deal and uh, what can we actually get. We certainly can get a coalition, I suppose, though the usual mm, malcontent. So, yeah, perfectly. We have finished uh, conquering uh, two thirds of Sicily. Now, only Syracuse is left and Malta. Separate isles, but still a part of the same state. Uh, this is going to be expensive. I suppose we can already increase the autonomy. And the choice of the next rival will determine our future foreign policy. We'll see what we'll do. And I'm satisfied, I suppose, that's it for this episode. We have fought another war, this time a little more difficult than the last one. We have lost plenty of manpower. And we are actually going to... I will still have them very loyal, so we'll see that in the next episode. We have very low manpower reserves we need to recover. We are behind in tech, in admin field in particular. We need to do something about it, and we will actually specialize in this for the time being. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your time, and I hope this has been most illuminating if you are new to the game. See you around in the next episode. Uh, like and subscribe if you feel that this is valuable content, and bye.